Did I ever tell you the story about the time I saw his butthole, David Cronenberg? No. Have you ever said this on the show? No. Did it look like the fly? No. I, I'm haunted by this because his image keeps coming up, and I I remember this looking a, into this, this man's eyes. This is an eyes. innocent exchange, I would assume. Okay. Yeah. So I was in Toronto, Canada. Right. And not I, Toronto, um, Maine. Not to brag, yeah. but I was in Toronto, and uh, I thought it would be fun to play a little prank on a, one of my co-workers at the time. I was working on okay. a show that was that some of you have hilariously called Heroes Stillborn. Yes, Heroes Reborn, of course, the fantastic sh- It was not your fault. You did great. Whoever did the effects for the video game, that's what kind of brought people out of I it. I don't want to get into it, okay. but also I feel like Heroes Stillborn is really sad. I actually wish they would have went ahead and just aborted it and flushed it. <laughs> but I went to do this funny the little old prank. Burger King abortion. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, drive by. Oh, um, I, uh, was It was Ryan Guzman, my friend, very handsome, yeah. uh, and, and I did a funny little prank on him, and then he was coming back. I, I basically, Wait a second. What was the funny prank? He had uh, what he said was a uh, what he viewed as an unstable ex-girlfriend. So I took a, a bunch of lipstick and I wrote all over the mirrors and all stuff on the inside of his trailer. I found you. I can't wait to be with you. I found you. We're going to be together forever. Are you Jared Leto pretending to be the Joker? What happened, you yeah. cult crazy? I, I wasn't in character. I was wow. just having a good time. And so but then when he came back early, it was like, ooh. So I thought I would nimbly jump over the trailer <laughs> hitch between the trailers and I missed it. And I gouged a full two inches of meat out of the shin of my leg. Um, Karma. 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 Seriously. And so I had to go to the Hollywood doctor in Toronto, right? So I went to the Hollywood doctor. They just bring you in there because I needed to get a tetanus shot because I haven't had a tetanus shot in a long time. And I went in. The Canadian woman in the front, very pleasant. Sure. Dum- a dumpling of a woman. Oh. She was just like, oh, well, your doctor is ready for you. Yeah, I could just go right back there. Go right back there, yeah. And so I sauntered back in, and I opened the door. And as I opened the door, <laughs> I go, hey, this is Henry Zabrowski. And I look, and I see a, an old man. <laughs> Is bent over the table. His butt is spread wide okay. with the white hair, like literally, like a like a if you scared a koala to death, you know what I mean? And it just went white. That's what it looked like from the bottom down. And oh, I, mama, I looked straight into talk about body horror. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this goose story is technically hero of the week. What? Yeah. Guess. All right, let's do hero <laughs> of the week. Hero of the week. So a British Colombian mom, she's sitting there and she's just letting her kid suck on her tit to get all the milk out. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> so she sees, we're just fucking children, she sees an eagle, right? And yeah. this eagle is like, I'm, wow. I'm hungry for a goddamn goose. I feel like it's Christmas, man. And, honestly, and I ain't celebrating. Eagles, for the most part, too, especially the type of bald eagles are scavengers. Absolutely. So she's in the middle of breastfeeding her daughter, who is six months old, totally normal. Fantastic. That is normal. Absolutely great. <laughs> I'm sorry. And the family- I'm sorry. I mean, you could breastfeed. I say breastfeed all day. At, well, I mean, I think it would get quite sore. Breastfeed and- everywhere. Absolutely. Like have- improv everywhere. Have fun with it. Please stop. Just stop improv everywhere. <laughs> Improv in very specific theaters. So I'd much I know rather how breastfeed over yeah. Yes, thank you. So she's in the middle of breastfeeding. So the daughter is just like, nah, I'm almost getting far, man. And then uh, all of a sudden, a couple of geese walk by and a number of chickens. And Oakley says, oh my God, this is the name of the gal, uh, Kate Oakley. She says, oh my goodness, look at this. Uh, there's, there's an eagle and it swooped down and it tried to take the female goose. And then, oh my God, how horrible was that? So she said, "Wait, so those are her pet goose. That's her pet goose. She's probably feeding a lot of animals. There, she's full of it. Yeah. So she's, she's feeding the goose. Is she putting seed down, or is she I mean, bring the goose up for a sip on the left one? I'm not even going to tell Holden McNeely about this because no. he can't get enough of the milk. As a matter of fact, a doctor told him he had to stop it. So she says, we've had hawks and eagles in our yard before, but I never expected to, uh, an eagle to come that to to be coming after our large twenty pound." Goose. I, At some point, you just got to eat it, but I, I guess feel, not. I don't know, man. How can a... I guess we're going to get emails or whatever, but how do you, can a goose be a pet? I don't know how you can train a goose. I, I feel like they're vicious and they bite. Well, I've seen some funny videos where a goose thinks it's a dog. I, anyway. Yeah, I saw that video recently where the duck is going back and forth. That's just because it's just a moment in time where the dog have decided to not destroy that duck. Yeah. So Oakley was getting her baby uh, daughter dressed and ready for bed when she saw Frankie. Now, that's the name of this big fucking goose. See, I'm you. Now I'm you. You give it three honks. It's 
Uh, Oakley said, Frankie is notorious. We have her because she's an alert goose. So she comes to our door when something's in the yard. I feel like someone's about to get a bucket of piss <laughs> dumped yeah. on them. If you have an alert goose. An alert goose. So if something's in the yard, she's like, ha, ha, something's in the yard. Who's the hero here? This is what we don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> Oakley said she knew something was up. And then she heard Frankie calling. And then she saw her. And then she saw this eagle wings flutter past the door. Bless. And then she said, oh, my God. She saw the eagle flutter. And then she said, it grabbed her by the neck. But it startled it enough that it didn't get quite a good grip. So I chased it up the driveway and let it go. And Frankie came running home. Was the woman breastfeeding the whole time? Well, I think at this point the kid was full and ready for bed. So why is this... Can I ask? Because there was a there's a part of me that thought that this was a story because she had the child latched, and I she was fighting an eagle. No, she had it, but then the kid was like, "Check, please." Because what I would do is tit, I would pull I'm the done. tit, I would pull child off tit, squeeze child at eagle. Milk comes out of child at eagle. Vomit. That's a super soaker. Absolutely. So she uh, said it was very bizarre to see the eagle try to grab the goose, but she no, said it's not. no. It's hunting. Yeah, it's just hunting. But she said no can do, and then the goose. Was safe. So she named so, herself a hero. Uh, yes. And also she said, and I, I think this is actually kind of offensive to her kids. She says the goose, quote, is, she says, she's like my fourth child. I was terrified. So I, there you go. I, yeah, man. That's um, now. Okay, well. She didn't realize the moment was caught on camera until her husband went to look. And indeed, uh, she was laughing. She said it was hysterical. We were laughing so hard. And now the video has been shared thousands of times. And she says, people commented saying women can multitask and mamas are always on guard for everything. (laughs) (laughs) You know, women are special. You know what else some people have called her? What? Mother Goose. (laughs) Uh, Well, I think that, again, you shouldn't be allowed to call. You shouldn't be allowed to be called Mother Goose unless you are breastfeeding these geese. Porno. There was a priest. It can't help. 83, 83 years old. And he said, fuck it, I'm done. Screw it all. Good. He said, I'm no longer a priest, I'm no longer a pastor. He traded his role for preaching to the congregation. Actually, this guy is also a hero. And he said, you know what? I'm going to become a porn star. Whoa. At 83 years old. This what? is true. He's, he's a former priest from North Carolina. His name's Norm Self. Which is a great name for it a is. porn star. It he is. was born for this. So he believes sex should be treated as a joyous part of of spiritual life and i agree with him what and so how does he not to be anything but he says his experience has been delightful (laughs) yeah i find these days that my body's indeed a temple where intimacy and ecstasy intermingle i'm just so impressed he can still get hard and still ejaculate that's the thing it's getting hard on camera has got to be really really difficult that's what they say that's the hardest part it's the crew it's the guy like with the boom op just like yeah yeah you got is he coming yet let me get the mic in there so I can hear it shoot out. It's not easy to be a porn star. It is not. So he also realized he was married to a gal for 30 years, but then he was like, you know what? I am gay. And so he came out, which is so good for him, and I'm sorry it took so long, um, but I'm happy that he was able to find his truth at some point. Oh, he's gay. And then he That's good him for him. Honestly, that's probably like, I feel like in a way, maybe I'm wrong. Like, do they, is, there, is it so much like, do they do other things? What do you mean? In gay do porn? You, <laughs> you, <laughs> Renato, don't you look think, at me. What do you think they do, Henry? Kissel, I'm just saying. Do you like, think they read books together and sip tea? <laughs> it's it's very similar <laughs> to straight porn, but just imagine different actors. So tell me, uh, you, you hear from around town? No, a lot of times I'm on the railroad. Yeah, well, it does sound like taxing. You sound it's, like you could relax. Yeah, it's not. Me, not, I'm the principal of my local uh Oh, let's suck each other's dicks there off. You, well, now you got to the crux of this uh, of the story. So it took Sorry. him another 20 years to come out publicly. Wow, that's huge. And then finally he made his porno debut in 2017. Damn, damn, damn. And uh, Good for him. Yep, he says, uh, he says, it's almost like having a party. That's one of the things I admire about this way of doing porn. He doesn't like it that it's called porn. That's what he said. He thinks that porn, it's like, there's like there should be a more gentle word for it, like... Romantuary. Yeah, so I mean, I guess so, but also. What about just, my romance stories? See, the thing, instead of changing the name porn, just normalize the term. The just, then, or just that porn can't be that bad. It's just not that bad. Yeah. It's just the thing that every single human being watches. And if they say that they don't watch it, a lot of times it means it's because they're 
making some nefarious snuff films. Absolutely. And of course, do everything with moderation and don't have it interfere with your love life because it is, uh, it's a different era out there for the kids. Save your nut for your wife. Mm, like a squirrel. Yep. All right. So, so far, he's done his on-camera work <laughs> free of charge. Which is amazing. He of just course. Does it oh yeah, dude. Free. Oh yeah, of course. He's just like, why wouldn't he? He was a priest for years. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's like, no, no, no. I've done my time working. Like this is this is just fun for me. Yes, he says he well, he likes to call them erotic films. Sure, uh, but also normalize sense. paying people who do porn too. They shouldn't be doing that shit for free either. Absolutely not. All right. All right, here we go. Let's also, do some... if you've done porn in your past. Run for office, it doesn't matter. We've all we all have buttholes, we all have we all we've all done it. So it not doesn't, all four, but we know what I'm saying. It doesn't become normal until more people do uh, incorporate it into their life. Like well, do yeah. the thing where you can come back and say, like, yes, obviously, yes, I worked in pornography. It is fine. You all masturbated to it. You love it. Absolutely. Big white bunnies. Now, I wanted to talk about that since we brought up yes. this story of a giant Easter bunny. I've actually received several emails and about I, giant rabbits. If I recall, when you read that email, you did think it was just a person masturbating in a bunny suit outside of this girl's home. I did. But now are you changing your tune a little bit? No. Okay. But I'm still saying it's interesting to see <laughs> how many giant rabbits people have seen and how, like, in this world of... Like single use cryptids, yes. like what we covered before, like that concept of the anomalous sightings mm -hmm. is still very much in the population. And like, I, it's, I just find it, I find them fascinating. Fascinating. Um, but I do want to read this little story also, that we got sent from a listener about another bunny sighting, which is because also there's an entity known as the puka that okay. is a, uh, I believe it's a giant, it's a puka, it's like Harvey the Rabbit. What is a puka rabbit? Oh my goodness, it looks it's a shape absolutely shifter. horrifying. Um, this is a, it's an Irish fuckler. Uh, and it's also, it's sometimes also seen as a dark, sleek horse. Um, and it can turn into a giant rabbit. And I believe that is the explanation for the rabbit Harvey um, from the, the old movie Harvey with the yes. animator. Absolutely, with uh, the man who went to Washington. I forget the actor's name. Very um, famous. R Rippard, Rippard Montalban. Yes, M Rippard Montalban, one of the better actors to ever walk backwards. <laughs> He's, and that's what the fantastic. thing is. They always had to reverse the reveal, so it yes. appeared that he walked forward. But in even those haunting actions, mm -hmm. we loved him. Tantalize him. Um, I am a 28-year-old female. But at the end of the, but the time of this incident, I was in fourth grade and living on a military base with my family. Okay. It was the night of Easter when this occurred. Oh. You notice nobody saw fucking Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, is now? Oh man, I'm so far removed. Easter is when Jesus was. He wakes up getting. Long, that's wait, when they del he that's leaves. When that's when they roll the rock oh, back that's and he's they, gone. They and do then, the joke on Twitter. That's Zombie Jesus Day. Yeah. Didn't have that on my whatever. Being, it's, it's actually on every fucking year. Oh. It's Easter. It's a holiday until we finally eradicate the Catholic Church. Oh, wait, Church. I did have it then. Yes. Oh. 